Hey beauties, it's Ribbon. Here I go with another video. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I'm coming to you beauties today, bare face. That's because we got a package today. So if you guys know me, you know that I'm subscribed to several different subscription boxes. And BoxyCharm is one of them. BoxyCharm is probably the most popular subscription box out there for beauty products. Um, I really do like them. I don't know why I haven't done a video on them before. Probably because it's just popular and I figured everyone was talking about it. But why not join in on the fun if you guys are looking for subscription boxes or ways to get into makeup or ways to get into skincare subscription boxes are always a great way to start out I am not sponsored by BoxyCharm I just maybe have a minor addiction to subscriptions okay so I pay this monthly um, it's like $25 monthly and I'm not sure the criteria I selected when I first signed up. So when you go into BoxyCharm, they give you a bunch of questions to answer, like what's your skin tone, so they can send you correct products. They ask you things that you like. What's your favorite product? What do you want to experiment with more? They ask you, do you want more skincare? Do you want more makeup? Um, or a good mix of both, you know? So I'm not sure. I've been subscribed for a minute, so I'm not sure what I first picked. But I get some skincare, I get some makeup, so I'm probably, I pick surprise me, who knows. But I do have a skincare subscription box, so I do like it when I get a lot of makeup in here, okay? So we are going to open this up, see what all we got in here, and then we're going to do our face using the products that are in this box, okay? So let's open her up. Already excited just opening it up, so... You open the box, and this is what I see, which is Morphe brushes. Ah! So you get your card here, and it has a list of everything that's in the box with the prices on here. Since BoxyCharm is the most popular subscription box, you will get a lot of really nice name brand products in here. They always get full size. I haven't gotten any like sampler sizes of anything in a while. And you get five products. It's supposed to come to around a hundred dollars. Um, I believe it's supposed to amount to at least a hundred dollars compared to your twenty-five that you're paying. And all right, so the first thing we got in here is a Morphe brush set, which makes me very, very happy. These are for eyeshadows. So you get the oval shadow brush, a pro firm blending crease brush, a tapered mini blender brush, and an angel, uh, an angle liner brush. So that's what you get. And the price for this is $12. And they're Morphe, so you know they're going to be great quality. I love adding brushes to my collection. I'm excited about that. The next thing we got is I'm going to grab this um, Summer Glow and Go. And this is a whole set. So this comes with a highlighter, a blush, a shimmer shadow, and a brow pencil. Hold on, let's open this up. This is really, really cute. It's like a whole set that you can just carry, and they're all in little crayon form. So, this is what you get. Hold on. <laughs> they're like that. And so, this one is the highlighter. So, I'll just. Ooh. That's shimmer and shiny. Sorry about this lighting once again. You guys know all my lighting is packed away. So you can see how shimmery that is though. That's pretty. So that's your highlight. Then you have a blush. And they twist up for more product. So that's also really, really nice. I like that. Um, the blush. Uh, I'll try it just for why not sake. But... I'm not sure how that's going to show up on me. Um, then we have the eyeshadow with the shimmer. And this is like a bit more golden than the highlighter. 
I just like that they're all in these little crayon shapes. And then you have a brow pencil. Oh, ha! Huh. I'm actually excited to use this. Look at the shape of that. All right, next I'm grabbing this Velvet Lip Perfector. It's supposed to be a matte finish liquid lipstick with weightless mousse texture. It's supposed to be highly pigmented and very good. $26 for this. All right, so let's open it up. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. It's like a brush, so when you squeeze it up, it's supposed to go into the brush like that. We'll use that as well. I'm trying to think this all goes together, so it's going pretty nicely. So the next thing is this Big Fat Liner. It is a marker pen, and it is $25. Let's open it. So this is a thick felt tip marker liner and it's pretty dark. It is doing that thing where it kind of seeps into my creases though. Can you see that? Let's hope it doesn't do that on the eye. It's not bad so it probably won't do that on my eye. I've seen way worse. But um, whew. We're going to use that as well. And the last thing in my box is Glam Glow Moisture Trip. And this is a rich face moisturizer. Lightweight, anti-redness moisturizer with omega rich can cannabis sativa. Um, this is $54. And like I told you guys, they give the full size products in this box you don't get little samplers you don't get little samplers or anything <sighs> can you see that it's like a green color it's really really pretty we're actually going to put that on now because I am getting ready to do my face so I need to moisturize it's been a while since I've done my routine it's probably too much but what the heck It smells, I guess it just smells like moisturizer. I'm probably going to use this as a primer. Oh my goodness, the feel of this is amazing. Stress. This stuff feels amazing, you girls. I'm probably not even going to do a primer because it does give me that primer feel when I do touch my face now. Yeah, I'm definitely just going to put foundation right over this. So I'm going to go and do the rest of my face really quickly um, minus the steps that were included in the box and I'll be right back. Bless you. <laughs> Alright, so I got my base down. I did go in with this eyebrow pencil. Um, this is the one that came in that crayon kit it didn't show up at all it literally it looks like I didn't do anything further to my brows it just I tried I tried it just didn't show up so I have my lids set so we're gonna hop right into this eye look I have my morphe brushes out of the package this is what they look like and we are just going to use my Juvia's Place Walla palette which I have not gotten to use yet and I did mention in the last video that I'm probably going to use it in today's video which I am so this is what we're using today. I'm going to go towards this color which I'm guessing is like a maroon burgundy like this looks a little bit more red to me it's not looking like that on camera. I think I'm going to start with this shade, which is more of a plum shade, and it's called BU. So we are going to just go in with the, uh, um, I'm trying to think. This is the Pro Firm Blending Crease Brush, and we're just going to go right into this and pick it up. Like, it looks like it's not picking up anything, but 
that was a lie. That was an absolute lie. It, it, it picked up. So I'm just blending this into my crease. Oh, and it blends. I love these brushes already. I've never really bought Morphe brushes. I have several brushes, but I never bought any from Morphe. And I don't know why, because they're literally the most used. They're the most used brush. And this blended out beautifully with this brush. Uh, I love the way it just glides so beautifully. I don't know if it's just the fact that these shadows are also amazing on top of the brush being amazing that this just that worked way too well. Now I'm going to go ahead and I guess I'll cut my crease just because I want to use this brush. I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm just going to do a half cut. Alright, so that's probably a, one of the simplest cut creases I have been able to do. This is so thin, so fine, because it's for liner, um, but since we have that felt tip liner pen, um, I decided I still wanted to use it for you guys, so I just decided to cut my crease, and that made it very easy. It's so, so, so thin. It's so thin. So, let my allergies be going crazy. Please excuse this. I... But now we're going to hop into this blender brush here and I'm just going to grab, I'm really being pulled towards this shimmer here. So I'm going to see if that works with this brush. It looks like it's gonna. I'm just going to put this on the rest of my lid. that's pretty I really 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 love this Walla palette um, I bought it as soon as it came out and I just haven't used it yet but it's been so pretty and so like I look at it all the time and I'm like well I'm gonna use that next and never do say I use all the brushes we are going to use this blush for our inner corner highlight so I'm going to pick this up here which is called stand up I'm going to put that on my inner corner. It's so pretty. So it's very similar to the shade we have on the lid, which is called Rumors. But it's just a little brighter. I'm going to go ahead and use this liner off camera. So that liner is very pigmented. And since it has such a thick tip, it makes it very easy to get a drastic line like this. It's beautiful. It came out beautiful. I love it. I'm going to go throw on some lashes and then we'll come back to do the rest of the products. Just going to go in and do a quick smoke. Okay. All right, so now we are going to hop into these crayons. So like I told you, I tried to use the pencil already. So we are now going to go in with, this was eyeshadow highlight, which I forgot all about and I didn't use. Don't know where I would actually use it. So we're just going to set that aside for now. It was really pretty, but I kind of forgot about it. Um, so we have the blush. So I don't even know how I'm supposed to do this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go dive right in and apply. Okay, so that is actually a really pretty color. Can you even see that on camera? Maybe I'll watch a review of someone using these crayon blushes and try it again because I feel like that just took my makeup off. But I used it. <laughs> and the highlight, which... should just be real easy oh my god okay this is pretty like I just did that and just blended it out 
with my finger. I like the way that looks. That definitely gives me a natural glow feel. I like that. And I did it down the bridge of my nose. Alright, so the last product we have to try is the Lip Perfector. So let's go ahead and just squeeze out some of that product. Let's see. <gasps> there she is. Whoa. Squeeze out too much trying to show it to the camera. All right. I really like it. Pretty sure the brush has something to do with how matte it comes off. Because that is matte. And we picked the right ash shade colors because this is definitely like a plum. Oh, it's so pretty! So my overall thoughts on my September boxy charm. I'm extremely happy with it as I normally am. I always love my bra. <laughs> So my overall thoughts on my September Boxy Charm, I'm really happy with it as I normally am. They always send me products that I've wanted to buy and I always end up getting stuff that I'm going to continue to use. I love almost everything I get out of a Boxy Charm subscription. So I definitely want to talk about my favorites. So this Morphe brush set, definitely going to be a staple in my eye shadow routine i'm obsessed with this i will clean them i just wanted you to see them in the package again but they work so well i will be buying more morphe brushes these are amazing okay so that's my favorite in the package second favorite has to be the glam glow i ended up using this as a primer because when i put it on my face it felt amazing like it felt like a primer hydrating beautiful of course it is a moisturizer a skincare so I will have to see how it performs on my skin over time but I'm obsessed with this I love this okay as for the other three items I really really like this velvet lip perfector it's a lipstick but it gives you a lip stain feel but it does come off so it transfers you know it's so pretty could you imagine this in a nude ah I really really like this I will be using this probably more than I think I am at this moment so the liner I did really really like it's just the tip is so thick and I normally like a thin liner just to blend in my lashes so I will use this when I do want to do a drastic liner look um, but it won't be an everyday thing because that's not normally what I go for but it worked really well it performed great so I really like that as well the only thing that really confused me in this whole box is this crayon kit. Um, I was really excited about it when I first opened it. As I started to use the products, I got a little confused. Um, the brow pencil didn't show up at all, but that's probably the shade they sent me. It's my complexion, so it's not going to show up at all. Um, the shadow, I probably will use. I just haven't gotten around to using it yet. I feel like you can also use it as a highlighter because it gives that same exact feel when you um when I swatched them it's just golden and this is more white the blush I'll probably use it as a lipstick I can see myself using this as a lipstick um like I can see it in my cheek I just feel like it was confusing to apply maybe if I applied it with a brush maybe next time I'll apply it with a brush I'm not going to give up on it I'm going to try and use it so um that was the blush. And then the highlight, I love. I did love the highlight. It gives me a very, very natural glow. I like the highlight a lot. I like the shade. I will be using that. Especially when I travel. I like very compact things. Easy, easy things to pack. So, I like the highlight a lot. So, that was my September BoxyCharm subscription, you guys. Once again, I will link everything for BoxyCharm down below. All the information, the link, the details, things like that. And all the details about the products I got today in case you just want to order one thing um, instead of getting the whole monthly subscription. <laughs> but if you like this video, you guys, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to put a ribbon on this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!